What's new in 15.1? This release is all about the All Items tab, which has been updated with a very familiar functionality. When you navigate to the All Items tab, you can add items by clicking on the Add, then choosing Quick Add or Full Add, and the item type you wish to create. Edit by clicking the Edit button or the keyboard shortcut E. Multi-edit items by selecting items you want to edit, and then clicking the drop-down arrow to the right of the Edit button. Find what you're looking for easily by using Filters, Quick Filters, or Grouping. And of course, you can now export your data in the All Items tab. Card View is now available from the All Items tab. To change the workflow of the cards, click on the Workflow Columns drop-down and choose your workflow. Notice that there are multiple workflows to choose from. Pick the item type and workflow you want to change. You are then free to move your cards through their workflow. The Details panel is now more robust as well. You can view custom fields, sub-items, and source control types. Fields that are not applicable to the item type that you have selected will display this message. You can also edit what items are being shown in the All Items tab from Tools, System Options, Details panel. You can now also add images to the release notes by clicking on the release and then edit. Lastly, we've added some love to the style of the dashboard for a fresh new look. This is a look in both dark theme and light theme. That about wraps up what's new in 15.1. You're welcome to watch our other what's new videos to get up to speed with Axosoft. Or you can follow the link to our what's new page. If you like this video, do subscribe to our channel to get regular updates and feel free to tweet about it. We love tweets. Tweet tweet! Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next video. Thank you.